So I'm policy reform uh, minister and it covers a number of areas but one key area is chairing the Climate Change Transformation Board which has uh, really been put together since we as an island declared the uh, climate change emergency. That's why we've been really focusing on another clear deliverables such as the Green Living Grant and energy uh, production and generation and how we deal with our transport. 22% of all our carbon emissions come from um, our buildings, from our housing. And uh, as recent surveys have shown, that our housing is uh, quite way behind uh, other jurisdictions in terms of their insulation and uh, in terms of their energy efficiencies. So what that means is we're losing or having to burn a lot more gas, a lot more electricity just to heat our homes. The Green Living Grant allows people to firstly get a, a free audit to understand what measures they can take and for the, for the worst houses, that's anything with an energy efficiency rating of D or worse, and uh, those that are uh, under the sort of financial threshold, which is quite generous, uh, 110,000 pounds a year, um, those, those will be able to get a grant of up to 50%, and that's up to 6,000 pounds. It's a first step, and very much we'll learn on the way, because it's creating that capacity in, in the market because there are many houses or many buildings that need it, even basic insulation. So providing that, that first step and, and targeting on those, on those properties that most need it, that will then develop and grow. So this is very much a, a beginning in that, that grant system, but also I, I can see this and it will run for many years. Fossil fuel will be um, not allowed in, in, in new builds I think from, from after 2024 so that's not long that's you know just over two years away um, and then what will happen then is that all new builds will have to have things like air source heat pumps so they're not using not burning carbon I think that's really important going forward again that all new builds have uh, solar energy and that will be one of the tasks that we will need to take forward in the very near future because it's very interesting that all the energy scenarios that were, were talked about by our, by our consultants, they basically underlined the need for all government buildings really to have solar panels. Whichever energy solution you're looking for, solar panels is a massive step forward. Um, so that coupled with good insulation will incredibly um, reduce our carbon footprint as an island. As I say, 22.5% of our carbon is, is, is just from our property.